Hi guys, this is Radiators TV, my husband. My name is Francis Kandinda. And today episode we are going to feature a female filmmaker. Her name is Agneta Asitwa. Now we all know this Nomia Atiwana women, the ones that are taking lead in filmmaking. But luckily today we have a filmmaker. So yes, let me just in, let her introduce herself. Tell us your name and what you do in Brothers of Film. Uh, my name is Agneta Asito. Yes. I'm a filmmaker by profession, but I'm specifically um, majoring into camera operations, that is cinematography and um, editing. And uh, recently I've also produced some films and directed some. Yeah, so I'm growing. Nice. So can you take us through your journey until you just discovered, like, this is what I really want to do? For sure, I wanted to be a journalist uh, as way back when I was still in primary school. I really aspired to be a journalist and then when I got to high school, I was in the journalism club and then after high school, I, I had that type of, yeah, I'm going to be on TV. Yeah. yeah, so I got a C plus, which was not so bad at my time, so I could also do a course in journalism. But uh, when I consulted my mom, she was like, is, is this surely what you want to do? Then she took me to someone who was in the, a, a practitioner in the field. Uh, that was my uncle. By then he was working at KBC TV. And then he told me, he broke it down. There is film, there is journalism. So do you still want to be in front of the camera or uh, behind the camera? So I was like, no, I really want to be behind the camera because yeah. I really want to be the driver of the stories. I really want to, to journey with uh, people that are making stories of. So yes, so I decided uh, let me start doing films with phones and uh, that's how I started before I got into like camera operations and rigging and all that stuff. But yeah, the journey has been good because um, yes, I also attained a diploma in uh, film production, camera option at Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. Uh, later on, I also attained a certificate in film technology, KCA University. Uh, through a sponsorship from Slam TV and all of those courses have, uh, have been impactful in my journey in film because also education is key. <laughs> yes. Whichever field you're into, whichever art, education is key whether formal or informal. Yeah. So you've talked about your uncle working in KPC. So did you go like a training in KPC? Ama alikuwa tu anakupeleka like anakuonesha this is I'll keep break down that this is film, this is journalism, so which you want to do. Uh, no, my uncle yes worked in KBC, but also was an, a lecturer at KIMC. Okay. So uh, because I had that type of, I want to go to a university, multimedia university, and do journalism and be a star. And he was like, because he was a lecturer at uh, Kenya Institute of Mass Communication Training, Camera Operations, and also um, studio production, studio operation. So when he broke it down, and then he told me uh, it's good to be equipped technically as a woman. Because again, it increases your uh, opportunities other than to be equipped with uh, journalistic skills because then all the journalists we have, it's not that they went to journalism schools. Some of us, a good number of them have learned journalism in the process. So he was like, uh, opportunity wise, then as a woman, you stand up when you're uh, doing the technical work. And that's when I got to do camera operation. I was like, let's break the bias, let's do this. Because by then, even our class, I think we were four ladies or five mm -hmm. doing camera. Because all the other ladies were in journalism and it was, it was, it was the opposite. Film production was uh, purely men and then like a few women. And then in the journalism side, in the information department, it was like, uh, many gentlemen, uh, many women, yeah. then gentlemen were minimal. But yeah, we we maneuvered either way. Mm, nice. So, can you tell me um, the process? Ukiwa high school, ah, sorry, not high school. Ukiwa um, KCA and uh, all your university. Like, how was it your first time? Ukishika camera. Ukiambia watu, eh, mimi ndio camera person here. How was it? First of all, me, I like challenges, mm -hmm. and I'm also, I, I stand up, I'm, I like to be just the one outstanding in everything that I do. I, I feel like I need to be noticed and not just being noticed because I'm there, mm -hmm. noticed because I have skills. So uh, any challenge that, uh, that comes, I'm like, hey, I'm going to work for that challenge, I'm going to be the one on top. So what happened is, 
I was pursuing my diploma in Kenya Institute of Mass Communication, but then uh, uh, it reached a point where I was having financial constraints, so I couldn't pay my fee, and that compromised my uh, me sitting in my examination. That was my final examination uh, in my third year, and so I got worried. And then I heard about Slam TV giving scholarships to KCA University. I was like, why not try? Let me just try to kill. Uh, Two birds with one stone, or is it one stone two birds? Whichever. <laughs> Let me try and do that, and see if I, at the end of the day, I can get one. Okay. So I started doing my uh, certificate when I was still doing my diploma. It was my third year of diploma, and then um, it was also my first year of certificate. Yeah. So it was not easy, but then. Uh, Coming from a uh, Kenya Institute of Mass Communication, people think like, oh, uh, Undo Kusema. But by then, I was just a joker when I was still in school. But now that I'm in KCA University, I was I was the one asking the teachers questions. I was the one teaching. And I was the one just being curious, yeah, taking the lead. Um, so I was given, uh, we were supposed to produce a film. And by then, KCA University didn't have equipment as now. As for now. <laughs> So we went on set, I gathered equipment from all my friends that I knew when I was in class. Like it was a challenge that presented itself and I was like, mm -mm. it's not that I'm a woman because I was given the role of a producer. Mm -hmm. And everybody wanted to be in my group because I've been so vocal about uh, asking questions. Mm -hmm. I know camera, I know ISO, I know aperture, I know... Blah, blah, blah. So everyone wanted to be in my group, then we were set into two groups and then challenge. The other group was headed by a man, and I was like, hmm. You watch it, you don't want to say. Yeah, I came to lead group, and it will not see its completion, then it will see. And that's how I came even to learn about editing, forcefully, because no one in the group knew how to edit. And I was like, since I'm the producer, I'll die with this project. I learned about editing in Adobe Premiere Pro for three days. Wow. And then we were like, hmm, that's the end, that's the end. Wait, we need to do editing. Um, YouTube, Ama, there's someone who was telling you, uh, even though it's not a No, someone, my friend called Mose, big okay. up to him. Mose taught, taught me editing in three days. How to wow. use, simply how to place footage on timeline. Mm -hmm. But it's not that I don't, I didn't know about editing, but I knew Final Cut Pro. And now I was not in a position where I could, uh, there was Final Cut, there were marks. So we, the only things that were there, the only machines were, it were many, Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, it was a challenge, but I was like, mm, we gotta do it. And then the film that I did, I mean, it was so superb, I didn't expect it to be like that. And then when we were asked to give remarks at mm -hmm. class level, people were like, eh, hey, Agneta Lishmama, Agneta Lifanya, everything, Agneta. We were even here in Madare, we had a location in Madare and we were shooting about the scarcity of water in Madare and how it affects people in Madare. And our story was about a woman even going um, to a point of death because of lack of water to just take medicine. It was such a powerful story. Um, it I won. saw it. I just want to tell people I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> and it won an award, um, Kenya, it won an award at university levels in Malindi, uh, Kenya University's field competition, something of the sort, yeah. They won an award, but because it's a school project, then I just take pride in it that I did it, I produced it mm. as a student, yeah. Wow, that's really powerful. So, Malishinda, the other team. Hey, now you see, like, but Nico happy hearing that um, a lot of now female are coming into the uh, film industry. So, just tell me, journey is your job hunting after so many talk university. Miss Jai Job Hunt, the Matin Quilly. What is it? In a delight at all? As in, the struggle to be at a situation as a semi. Jai Job Hunt, but I've been looking for opportunities where I can grow my skills. You and Dr. Megan Kipanya, Jai and Kokazi. I said that Dr. Lipa, 50k for Moise, you talk about Fanyanga videos. I've never been employed. Uh, the other day I was uh, in a panelist discussion about uh, feminism filmmaking or uh, uh, stories with a feminism lens and uh, people were talking and they were they were thinking that hey, we may make it and someone even asked a question like but 
by the way now when you you are at, at the peak of your career now <laughs> and i was like which career <laughs> at the peak of my career me don't have a career i'm just pursuing passion whether it pays or not mm-hmm. it's just passion so um people have been presenting opportunities to me because of uh the way i'm like it's not just because i'm a woman i need to everything on a silver platter like yes. hey when when I'm ke kamu shoot kamu shoot yeah. with experience so I'll I'll challenge myself I'll make my bad movies for you to correct me so that I can make a good movie out of that and for you also to see that I can I have the capability of just making a movie or a video so yeah that has been the that has been the 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 struggle because um as a woman in film then men will not trust you in anything yeah and uh, one thing they don't know we are the best storytellers so true <laughs> so we are good content creators that is one thing they must give us credit for but um they don't trust us with um equipment they don't trust us with um as in the whole uh, journey of the whole process of production which is so uh boring mm. even at this age that we are in that women have shown us as uh, the OPs women have shown us uh, they can edit they can they can do lighting they can we it's it's just keep on challenging each other oh, yeah. and challenging men more so to see that we can, we're capable of doing this so you cannot sit there and tell someone that at I have skills of I have camera operation skills then what have you done yeah so true and also i i saw um now we have our, our own platform of women in film tell me to more about it because Ababu, it's really nice like when we are being recognized that as filmmakers, directors. Of course, of course. Um, on just two days ago, I was in, a, in an award ceremony, a Women in Film award ceremony. And I was so happy to be part of it, though I was not nominated. But the process was good. I was enjoying every bit of it. But then at, at the back of my mind, I was like, now we have grassroots women in film who are not making it to the mainstream. What are we going to do with them? And that's why we, we started uh, African Women in Film, which we are also part of. African Women in Film is a community-based organization that is there to empower grassroots women uh, in film with skills and also present opportunities that are available for them to grow and also linking them with the mainstream women in film. So yeah, there is a what's happening here, but these are mainstream women in film. What about these grassroots women in film? How will they get there? Because yes, all of us are women, we face challenges, but the, we have um, different challenges, different set of challenges. These are grassroots women in film. So of course, being a woman is a challenge. Being also in the grassroots is a challenge. And also being, to add on that, being in film. Yes, So uh, we must deal with this here before we start like going there so can we organize even our grassroots women in film awards so that we also appreciate our women at grassroots level that was the major that was the major uh, thematic area that we were focusing on when we started the the organization but uh, it's 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 growing it's growing to other bigger thematic areas and we will grow Ah. so can you tell me like the movies ngapi umefanya ama is it yeah, TV or any tunajua to? I've never done anything for TV, mm-hmm. unfortunately, but also fortunately, because um, I'm, a, I'm an activist and uh, a human rights activist, and I'm also a feminist. So I'm happy where I'm at because I'm using my skills for activism, I'm using my skills for feminism. Advocacy. Advo- advocacy, yeah. So, uh, as in, I don't regret no, never ever working with TV, mm-hmm. and I appreciate people who work with TV, but I'm not there. I do humanitarian stories, I do stories that affect me directly because I've grown, I've, I'm, 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 uh, I've been born and bred in Madare, so why not use the lens to like reflect what happens in Madare? Not only the bad side, but also yeah. the good side. Exactly. So, can you just tell me the challenges that you face, especially kama nakumbuka on your Facebook page, your profile ni umeshikilia kamera mzitu sana. Wewe, tu experience. Ni black magic, ndio? Tu ambie the experience like the challenges kama like you are female filmmaker, you just 
unipate hiyo opportunity ya kushikilia camera but behind it before ushike hiyo camera how was it well <laughs> your story was interesting yes because my friend hollered me and she was like ah nataka intern kwa pilot ingine hapo na ya Netflix and I was like I'm here akanembe cuz producer anasema anataka interns madem kwa camera department so sisi tulikuwa tunaitwa loaders wale wa kukimbiana na batteries <laughs> tafuta power station tuna yeah. shift set bio lens nini yeah. we were doing all that shit but then again one day I sat down and I was like do I really want to run with these boxes Mm-hmm. Is this what I came to do? It's fine I'm an intern but then I have to learn at the end of the process. So we had a, a DOP from New York. I respect that guy. So me one day so we set up everything to mepanguza monitors, to me set teradex, <laughs> yes, kama kawa. Nini? To me set to go sawa, to me set before em, camera department in Kwambele kila other department mm-hmm. lights or just set costumes nini. So tumekatu tumetulia Eh yeah, that ninja ana shoot vitu hiyo dio pini mdeadly so I, I had a chat with him and I was like eh hey, kibata you know me I do I do um slam films uh, mm-hmm. I do humanitarian stories docus I can be oh, nice nice but I'm can I show you one and then you tell me maybe what I can improve on and then nikamuonyesha a film mm-hmm. that we did uh and a workshop uh, that was about GBV I was like nice you shot it this is good then I, after showing him i was like so see i'm capable of uh, doing cinematography so i want you tomorrow mm-hmm. you give me just a chance to, to do a rehearsal shot there some shots with zile the actors on a place wa kwa eh kwa scene kwa scene some nafanya rehearsal before uh the nini the actual take so nikamwambia unaweza nipe hiyo opportunity ya kufanya rehearsal shot akanambia oh, why not so actually i could very alafu mwenye when you go ahead of our department ya camera mm-hmm. eh alikuwa na ni frustrate alikuwa na ni frustrate mwanamke ama mwanaume si ni wanaume tu wote kwa hiyo department focus pullers were men mm-hmm. camera operators were men mm-hmm. the, the steady cam men as in everything was men sisi women don't got na kimbianga na na mabeti na mabeti yes. alafu tukambiwa juu hiyo kazi ni mmoja wote tuongezewe actually plan mmoja ni kama kama intern wa kukimbiza bed Mm-hmm. Alafu na Joel kwa naambiwaje? Ati sasa sasa zile sisi tunapanguza lens. Yeye anaambiwa chukua hizo teradex zile za ku za ku connect signal kutoka kwa monitor director oh, okay. to the camera. Yeah. Anaambiwa connect hizo. Sisi tuki, tukipanguza lens. Mm-hmm. Alafu anaambiwa ti ah wewe we think two months to come a grow man. Wow. <laughs> Anaambiwa ti when we think too much eh utakuwa ume grow utakuwa eh when utakuwa kusema and then i'm like when you tell you only pieces to the zagro bona na be old boy is the zagro and then that guy is younger than me and but because when him dogo sio umeshaanza kushika hizi vitu shaanza kujua matera deck manini na nyinyi mnasikiza eh anaambia tukio tu hapo and then sisi sasa tunaambia aje sisi tagro tukipanguza them because we are women and i was like me i'm uh. mad i'm pissed so I told my friend by the way mimi natoka set akanambia ah kuna tena vile na jonga we ni strong jikaze <laughs> so like no yeah. so um mm-hmm. after that the following day i went on set kufanya kazi zangu za kupanguza equipment kutoa kupanga batteries kwa battery box to charge for power stations nini tuka set on tena unajua dio pia alisema imagine mm-hmm. guys um so Agnate is not doing batches anymore. I love you sick steady come up come. Wow. Alisema Agnate is not doing batches anymore. She's doing camera too. Mm. He, ule chale alikuwa na ni frustrated. Sasa ndio anaanza kuniambia, si nilikwambia nikujituma. <laughs> I'm like bullshit. Wow. <laughs> Did it take a guy from New York to come and tell me that I, to come and tell a woman that you can do it? Nyinyi wa Kenya mweze ambia mwanamke ati you can do it. I'm, I'm like, "Hey, Actually, he was so hostile to me the entire process since I got there. Na alikuwa shaniambia after three days wewe utakuwa umerudia hapa. Ndio maana alikuwa ananikimbiza na mabox and ati mgongo yako itakuwa utakuwa na mgongo because they know women cannot handle that. Yeah. But I was like best yangu aliniambia na Joe ni strong when ni mauru. Wewe kuja. Then I was like yeah mtakimbia nazo mnafikiria siwezi kimbia jumi ni mzito nitakimbia. But then the hiyo siku nilipewa camera then my life changed. Wow. Cuz 
as a as a as a camera operator yeah. that's a big set as a camera operator unafa ukimaliza ku shoot kama unafanya handheld immediately wamesema cut hiyo camera ito le kwa shoulder yako it's almost 10 kg whether you are a woman or a man 10 kg mm-hmm. is not like something you can hold on for so long mm-hmm. una una inatolewa kwa nini yako sasa mimi nilikuwa nasikia cut hakuna mtu atataka kunitolea camera mm-hmm. kwa sababu hawa watu walikuwa wanatufanya hizo grips when you're going to a camera so you got to anaume wananiambia tivo ni nini na chochote na camera so watu wenyewe wanajua kufanya camera afanye i'm like nani amekuambia sijui wow nani amekuambia sijui so when i do kwanza kuna siku nilifanya shot nyingine handheld kwa bedroom nika pani eh director tu anaona kwa monitor yake kwa like who is that who is that i should get a eh cheers man wanaume wako tu huyu <laughs> Wacha ni yako kwa ile fisha ile yenye una siku mwanga uh-huh. uki frame shot yako ukipana mki eh mbona bali nisikupa kwa wall <laughs> <laughs> ya nini eh <laughs> nakufia <laughs> uko mbele usuno jifanya unaweza fanya kazi na wanaume yeah. niko na ikata ingi kwa mwanaume unge msukuma hivi shuali ndio <laughs> 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 No Mr. Director I cannot frame this shot I'm not mm-hmm. comfortable. Ndio maana alikuja kanitetesha like you're not comfortable say it. Don't just keep quiet you've been told to pan left pan right you're not panning you're not comfortable say it why are you not communicating that's why you have the talk back. I was like oh kumbe hivyo oh sawa. Baka wewe chali kuna chali head of scripts alikuja kambi hiyo boys. Kwani una 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 nini ude unamshikisha handi Mbona no, una vizuri ya ndo laezi na nimekuambia mara nyingi akarudi akaitengeneza So nilikuwa nikajua kumbe mtu anaweza communicate Mhm Sasa zile ni ni kamera na fuck off shoulder wala mtu ajatoa kwa ni shoulder yangu Mhm Niko tiko talk back Sikuwa na ambia mtu ati wewe nishike kamera I need camera off my shoulder Ah Ah Natolea Sasa women in leadership eh? But 10 kg is a lot of Where? for even a man not even for a woman alone. I know. See at wanawake hatuwezi tunafuata na huruma but also mm-hmm. you don't need to frustrate us. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Okay, ni frustrate that frustrate times too. Yeah. Hiyo camera kwanza before hata ni bewe ilikuwa already shavunja fin tangapi? Mbili. And amikono za nani? Mwanaume. Mwanaume. I mean it go handle all the time bonus condition the camera it's how careful we are eh? I mean it doesn't make sense yeah but okay through this challenge atan ulize apart from cinematography have you ever think of kufanya kitu kingine kama Julie sema ukiwa university ulikuwa producer bado so is it something you're still practicing ama tu me major kwa cinematography No, I took time to to learn cinematography. I mm-hmm. st- I'm still learning. Okay. But my passion is in cinematography. That's where my passion lies, but I'm also producing because yeah, these are humanitarian stories. Like I I I really I see something, I really want to address it. I see a gap in my community. I really want to address it through film. So it's it's easier me looking for a team like you and other people coming together then storming about the idea and producing it and also giving other people chance to also do cinematography editing and all that yeah nice so i saw you also do mentorship in film so can you just take us through the journey because i i feel in bado na empower your our cc what our community especially upper madari so i've seen you mentor just tell us about it so um um oh. Before, before I uh, I started uh, before we started the uh, African Women in Film, mm-hmm. I was I started a training for young women and uh, young mothers to be precise, and uh, it's because 
there is growth in the number of early pregnancies in Mavari. But then we cannot address it one day and wake up and say, oh, we are eradicating early pregnancies. Mm. What can we do? Already people are here, they've already given birth, they're very young. Some of them are school dropouts. Most of them actually are school dropouts and they don't have anything to do. They're just at home. Mm -hmm. They don't have food. They don't have what. So it's, it, it was a challenge that came to me and I was like, how do I address it? Then, yes, I did a documentary about early pregnancies, but then, yes, at least we circulated it through our socials and we organized for screenings here and there and people were talking about it, we had discussions about it at that level yeah. and we were like, this is how we're going to tackle it and all that, but again, I'm still walking through the same streets, meeting the same uh, um, young mothers with kids and I'm like, why don't I train them on how they can tell their stories? Mm -hmm. But also, which is a challenge because I'm not, it's, it's not a job that I'm giving them money. It's just skills. So, yeah, I train them using their mobile phones. And um, a couple of them are still doing it. And they're still doing it to like um, promote their businesses, which is something that I didn't expect. But it came out, and I was like, this is just a yes because someone takes a picture. I told them how to take a picture, use a good picture using your phone. Someone takes a picture when doing their job, laundry, whatever, makeup. And they're, I mean, they're thriving in it because after you take a picture, you circulate it, and people are like, ah, this is a nice story from Malari. This is a person that's a Michituma, Anafanya 1, 2, 3. Why don't I like empower her? Why don't I give her a job? Because she's a dream as a Najua. Yes. Yeah. That's that's really nice. We aki mimi ni moja wa kufundishwa and it's really nice because I know you're good at directing too. So let me ask, for cinematography, is it an hobby or a passion? It's a passion, purely passion. Purely. Ah. Wow. Unajua <laughs> like a lot of people they think like hobby ni kama passion because it's something like it's an interest. Mwanza kitu kidogo alafu ime unadhania ni passion you understand but i saw also you directed at slam tv yeah. you know how was the, the directing you was you ulikuwa unashika camera watu ndio ulikuwa unaambia oh yeah kuja hapa oh yeah. yes <laughs> how was directing it? is not easy yes because um i remember it was it, it was um all the crew was men apart from two women who are also uh, under mentorship so it's not easy to direct men especially when men want to fight and they feel like as a woman you can't solve their problem because where's the bazu i'm like yeah it was not easy but they delivered okay it was my first time directing i think and uh, i was like uh, let me give people an opportunity to also do camera handling, do editing, do um, sound, do lighting and all that. Because I've been one man guitar, I'm a one man filmmaker, mm. doing everything. Yeah? I'm like, where? I'm like, where? I'm like, where? I'm like, So at least I gave people a chance to like explore their skills. And I was, um, my form of directing was not like ordering people around, like, where fanya, where fanya, where fanya, where fanya. It was, um, Minim Kali, like it's uh, it comes from a point of I want you to grow and not grow to be like me because me I know I'm not at my uh, I'm not at my ultimate uh, level of growth. So I want you to grow. Ni pite and you only challenge. No pia mini kwena ona. Eh, sis kamen no camera pia minatika camera. How comes mimi apa na di church and a wea me fanya and a wea me fanya? So I'm like I want to get challenges from my circles also. So that this going to mimic Kazangun Kwakania, Kwafinya, 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 Dionika, Mimi, Muhesh. I make sense at the end of the day. It's a creative world. We need to like pull each other. Feel my way to go up and up again. We need to pull each other. We need to get ideas together. We need to pull resources. We need to pull personnel. We need to pull a lot of things for us to, to, to see a completion of a project. And that's what happened with Dino. Because Gino was a show about women, uh, uh, women in uh, leadership, and also women who are taking, uh, who are having highlights in the uh, community, volunteering, and all that. It was, it was good. That's really nice. So, 
family yako ikikuona ukifanya all these incredible things wana feel aje wana feel poor mama mama yako ndio anakuanga po eh don't wangu eh mama yako ni za creative fortunately mm-hmm. so kwa family yenu yote you guys are all in creative field. industry yeah, apart from my younger sister kwenye sisi uh, as a fanya nini she's doing uh, fe- facials uh, na beauty beauty therapy yeah. mm. but uh, sisi wengine wote ni ma arts creative arts the wedian my elder sister pia actor mm. my younger brother mimi anafuata pia ni kwa uh, anafanya camera ops so I'm def- okay, used to but this is what you go used to wanna wanna mke kusa zingine anjanga kana machupa kwa nyumba mama za guy sasa hakuna mtu angekusaidia na understand when you mzazi akisema ngai hivyo but I'm def- thinking kama familia mfanye kitu like ni watu mfanye kitu the same like wewe ushike camera um brother kwa kuje at collective no atujawai wa pamoja but we are proud Eh kila mtu ako area yake na watu wake as in and we we still doing our own stuff we, we are not complaining but i don't think it will be best to work as family because family pia inanga boundaries mm. eh unajua ni brother yangu anataka kufanya si bro yangu anafanya ana, ana comedy i don't do camera for his comedy but i'm good in camera Yes, you have heard from herself Agneta Asito a female filmmaker she does a incredible things in directing in producing and also majoring in cinematography so yes until the next episode make sure you go to all our social media account on facebook twitter instagram and linkedin at radiators foundation to kutane next on my hustle with michelle nyalwal bye